Hi, my name is Madison Perkna and I'm a senior at Lenore Rhine. I'm originally from Baltimore County, Maryland, and I came to LR to play on their women's lacrosse team while earning a bachelor's in studio art and a minor in applied computer science. During my first year or two at Lenore Rhine, I was working my way through our first level art classes and I had the opportunity to showcase a mixed media project of mine in Rudsell Library, which was actually the first time I ever had um, my work shown up for people to see publicly, which was really exciting. I had a lot of fun creating this piece because it was very abstract and eerie. When I created this project, I was inspired by an artist which we were learning about in my painting two class named Nava Lubelski. I fell in love with this artist when we were learning about her and I really wanted to try to create the same effects of decay and incorporate her approach to styled moldy patterns. The background of this piece was painted with wet tea bags and smeared with dirt. On top of that, I created a collage with different materials to create the image I wanted of a zombie cr crawling out of a swampy bog. In addition, I also drew realistic bugs around the piece, including lines of ants, a spider, a cockroach, and a large beetle. I really love to reflect on this piece because even though I was just at the beginning of my development as an artist, I still showed the same style and interest which I have carried with me and really fine-tuned and showcased in my science fiction series. Since my sophomore year or so, I have come quite a long way developing my skills as an artist and refining my style and identity. Over this past year, I have been working on a science fiction series that I have been developing in my studio classes for my portfolio as an artist. When I originally came to LR, I was mainly working with drawing, painting, and sculpture, but this year I have taken a strong liking to working digitally, specifically creating digital collages. This piece is titled Medusa's Garden, and I created this digital collage through layering different images on top of each other and just kind of blending things together and editing things where I wanted them. I have always loved the story of Medusa, and I really wanted to create something bold for her, but also really aesthetically powerful because there's a lot of power and significance within Greek mythology, and I wanted my viewers to feel that too. I placed Medusa hiding in a garden surrounded by flowers underneath strong, dark, stormy clouds. I really love how this image turned out and how the colors really allow it to feel like it's all frozen in time and in stone. After Medusa, we have another digital collage from my science fiction series titled Television. Growing up, I've spent an immeasurable amount of time plopped down right in front of a TV just like I'm sure every other kid did. This project initially started for a friend of mine from high school who asked me to help him create an album cover for his song and I had so much fun creating different designs and working with someone to incorporate their ideas. At the end of it, this one wasn't selected and I loved it so much so I just ran with it, which is why I ended up placing the car image into the TV frame. After I pieced together this idea digitally, I had to see it in person, which is why I began searching high and low for the perfect old box TV that I could create this image in real life. One day, I saw this small television in an antique mall and I bought it immediately and began to piece together the project I had desired in my head. This project actually was quite challenging because my ideas kept progressing and I fell in love with the static on the TV screen once I actually plugged it in and then I had to incorporate that into it so in the end I had to take the whole image apart piece by piece and then reassemble it like a puzzle onto the TV screen but I'm so happy with how it turned out and in the end it all paid off. This installation piece is titled Alien Invasion, and it is a mixed media installation that incorporates a digital collage and a set of window frames which were mounted onto a wall. This project is definitely one of my favorites. I had been wanting to create a project with those window frames for quite some time, and with the benefits of the large scaled printer in our art building, I finally had no limits on how big I could create things. This project strongly reflects my science fiction theme while it portrays a scene of ci citizens being chased by aliens through a field. In the background, I have a UFO soaring above a city while there is a large explosion consuming the sky. 
Similar to the installation before, I had to actually cut my large scale print into smaller sectioned squares in order to fit each piece into the glass areas of the window, so of course the puzzle matching was quite difficult, but in the end I really love how everything came out and I think it was really successful in creating an inclusive effect for the audience to look through it. I wanted the windows on the wall to really connect the audience to the chaos and the mass destruction being viewed right outside the window in their yard. A year ago, when we were all driven into isolation and experienced a new lifestyle while quarantining, my friends and I quickly filled up our newfound free time with diving deep down a rabbit hole of conspiracy theories. We were so invested that we found a map online that actually organized different topics to research and connected people and terms that we weren't quite familiar with, but this map was called the Great Awakening, and it opened our eyes to many events in America, including the MK Ultra Experimentation Project. This project was launched by the CIA in the 1950s and went on until the 70s, when it was finally exposed and shut down. MKUltra featured the experimentation of using LSD and other psychoactive drugs to test mind control, information extraction, and torture on patients. This piece incorporates two images, which were used to create a final diptych because they each represent unethical practices from this case. The image on the top shows a wall of TV screens piled on top of each other while also displaying the same hypnotic illusion. Meanwhile, the bottom panel portrays lead CIA scientist from the MK Ultra experiments, Sidney Gottlieb, injecting drops of the liquid into someone's mouth from a needle. Behind the two men is the text of the leaked document stating that the CIA used drugs to unethically experiment on human subjects. This dinosaur exhibit is a mixed media installation including materials like wood, metal, and paints on top of a set of digital collage prints. This installation actually was the first project that I created for my sci-fi series, so it was definitely hard to follow up after something like this. I really wanted to use this project to show a concept of preservation of this prehistoric species, but I also wanted to have a bit of real-life interactive experience. This project was really fun because I realized in the planning process how unique and unexpected my imagination may be, because I could not explain the concept of this project to anybody in my class and it was very hard for other people to understand my vision in my head which motivated me even more to really make it come to life i think a lot of my personality shows in this project as well because the images are really playful even though they are so surreal Time travel has been a huge theme in science fiction and in culture since the beginning of time itself. This project was a really fun challenge for me because it was the first still life animation that I was able to create which is so exciting to me because it just adds another level of opportunities that I'll be able to further explore. When I was creating this project, I was actually doing a lot of research into quantum physics and the Casimir effect, which was so interesting to learn about, but really motivated me to get the animated tunnel background that I wanted. Every time I have a new idea for a science fiction topic or theme, I immediately open my notes and dive into as many different videos about it as possible, so I can gather up as much notes of information to inspire more ideas to continue building off of until I find something that clicks. This project was really fun and challenging because I never was really satisfied enough for it to be complete, which is why it took so many different forms and versions before I finally was able to create an animated effect which completely did it for me. I really wanted the background to move through the tunnel so it felt like the viewer was kind of time traveling themselves and going through the full experience. For my next piece, I focused on the notoriously dangerous Bermuda Triangle. For this project, I really wanted to emphasize the rumors of disappearance and the idea that this area is cursed. In order to do that, I created a portal through a sinkhole that is found in the Bermuda Triangle area, which looks like a black hole in the ocean, and it's known as the Devil's Gate. 
I took this phrase and definitely ran with it to create my gate to hell where the devil's hand is reaching out and signing I love you. On top of that, I incorporated the lost five crew members of Flight 19, which disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle in 1945 and really kick-started its fame and notorious legends. The Lost City of Atlantis is a story I actually never truly knew about until I began researching it for this project. While making this piece, I found a lot of inspiration learning about Plato and his philosophical teachings. One main point that I took away from all my notes was that the existence of the Lost City of Atlantis specifically would support ground to listen to Plato because it adds validity to his writings, which would be re revolutionary, especially in religion. In this piece, I took the rumors of Plato's sunken island and of Atlantis and portrayed the city at the bottom of the ocean. In the foreground of this piece, I created a spin-off of Raphael's painting titled Psych Received on Olympus, which depicted a meeting of the Greek gods. In my version that I created, I gave all the gods fish heads in order to show that they had adapted underwater since Plato's teachings. The last piece we will review from my series is titled Center of the Earth. I was able to reference back on another famous image in this piece which you may recognize as famous World War II photo known as The Kiss, taken by Alfred Einstein. The focus for this piece was also another conspiracy theory, but this time it portrayed the belief that there are reptilian people that live in the center of the earth. This theory is very far-fetched and entertaining, but there are many people or followings that actually believe many celebrities are secretly lizard people. This piece was really fun to create. It definitely brought a lighthearted and satirical experience for my viewers, which is what I was hoping to create with such an extraterrestrial and crazy theory.